Hello, my wildflowers. Alexis here with Out Modesty. Welcome back. And today I will be trying on the products that I received from my October 2020 BoxyCharm base box. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please stay tuned. Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. Let's get started. I did promise you a try-on of the things that I received in my base box for BoxyCharm for October 2020. So today, what you see on me right now is um, my base, and these are things that were not in a box. So I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. And um, just to give you the information, uh, the foundation I'm wearing is Giorgio Armani. And um, this is one that I had forgotten about in a long time. And when I put it on again today, I just remember how much I love it. So I'm glad I kind of rediscovered that. And uh, also, before I forget, I just wanted to um, tell you about this Milk Hydro uh, Grip Primer. And this was a sample, as you notice, it's a little packet. I cut it open. I mean, this is probably one of the best primers I've tried. And I'm really interested in trying the, um, you know, a regular... Uh, full size or you know travel size whatever they have because this is a jelly like substance I don't know if there's any left here but no not really and then what it is is it's kind of like um, uh, it, it doesn't have dimethicone feeling to it where it's like silicone and another best thing about this is not only did it hold my foundation well but it did not make my sunscreen pill and I have a problem with that that's why I stay away from primers and I told you that you know I don't really do primers unless um, you know I find something that's like wow and like this right and just like the primer I didn't used to do um, eyeshadow primer either until I discovered I think I've shared with you the Anastasia uh, of Beverly Hills and this is a travel size which travel size is big enough it's $13 and I'll have it forever and so I gone ahead and prepped my uh, face with that and also for my eyebrows um, what I normally use which is the uh, benefit um, precisely my brow same thing and you also remember that I've gotten my uh, what was this called this winky Lux. The one I love to say, Winky Lux, Winky Lux. Anyway, uh, you remember that uh, in an earlier video, and it, I was so excited about the spoolie and um, the actual, um, the flat size but precision tip um, brow uh, pencil. And I did try this for a while. I, I just couldn't get used to it. Um, it wasn't so much the, um, it's the quality actually of the product itself. Um, it's a little bit greasy and it slides around. I don't know why because it looks really dry here. And when I um, rub it on something, it looks really dry, but it's really not. And I think it's because it's a little more translucent and there's it's not very pigmented like um, my Benefit or uh, Anastasia by Beverly Hills um, Wiz Brow, Brow Wiz, <laughs> Brow Wiz that I used to use. Um, and this is not, the quality just isn't there. And unfortunately, yeah. And um, I'm just giving you a real quick uh, review of things that I've already used as well. I hope this video doesn't go that long. Uh, my intention is to keep it as short as possible. And um, so the next step I want to do is, you notice I received this dose of color uh, concealer in my box. So I didn't put anything on me that I received already. So today uh, we'll be working with the dose of color uh, concealer, uh, the breakfast in bed palette uh, by the, the bakery and so beauty bakery and so i'll use this and to put all that on i'm going to go ahead and use the um brushes by luxie i really didn't want to because they're brand new and i'm you know i have so many brushes but i did say that i'm going to go ahead and you know since i'm going to keep this um i want to show you uh, i want to give you my feedback on what i think of it because i am a little picky on my brushes as well okay and um along with that i will go ahead and also use the lip liner that i received um uh, in in the box and that is called I forget the oh Ace Butte it's by Ace Butte um, and so and this one is B Peachy remember that B Peachy <laughs> so I'll use this 
and as well as the uh, the lip balm that came in the box as well. So it was a pretty well-rounded box. I have to say, uh, only thing that it was lacking um, was of course foundation, and they don't typically sit with scent foundation unless you pick it because of the tone, right? Um, the shade. But um, I'm still, I'm very happy with the box that I received. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Um, first, I'm gonna go ahead with the um, Dose of Colors. Uh, let's see. And like yesterday when I was showing it, uh, I know I said, oh, it comes out a lot. So you have to be really careful. So I'm just going to put a little bit. It does come with this um, huge doe foot. Actually, it's not that bad. Either that or I was able to get it off pretty good. Okay. And uh, and, and the color I really like. Um, this is actually a good color. Whoops. <laughs> just throwing things at myself. Okay, I can tell you something right now. You have to work quick. This does dry quickly. Um, yeah, a little quicker than uh, all of my other ones. Um, even the one that's probably the most comparable to this one would be the um, Born This Way uh, by Too Faced. So you have to work quick. Okay, what I'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and powder this at least under my eyes. Since I'm giving you a um, kind of a review on the product, I want to use it the way I typically use it. Um, I would like to maybe try sometime this week to kind of use um, the product without uh, the powder to see how that works out. Because all the other products I use, the concealer does need that powder. Otherwise, it actually moves on me. So, But I'll try it, but uh, just this time this way, and I'll let you know if there's any changes when I try it the other way. Okay, let's jump into the uh, eyeshadow here. And this is breakfast in bed again. And I haven't really thought about which color I was gonna go ahead and use, but here is the palette. Um, and I know I do a lot of pinks. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with the grays today. Okay, and I just said go in with grays because when I first looked at it and another light, it looked like there was a lot of grays, but there really isn't. So let's see what I come up with. Um, first, um, let's go with this shade here. And I usually like to have a uh, transition shade or shade all over so that way um, it allows me to actually layer much easier. So, okay, here we go. And I am using the shader brush by Luxie. And there's not a whole lot of kick up in this pan, which is good. Um, but I, it is taking a little bit of work to actually get the color down. The color actually does feel creamy, and this is very nice. It's not chalky. As you notice, I am not having a whole lot of kick up in a pan. Actually, none at all, which is very nice. And next, I'm going to go in with Missy Hair, okay, in my creases, using a blender brush, blending brush. I'm just using windshield wiper motions, just back and forth and just kind of work this in. Okay, and just to keep the uh, video, you know, relatively short or normal, um, acceptable uh, length amount of time, I do edit some pieces out where I'm going back and forth. So it is taking a little bit of work and I did go in for the second time because I really need to deepen my creases because I have a hooded eyelids. And unless I could really carve this piece out, all of the colors will be lost and I because I need to create space in, um, in between the crease and my eyelid. And now I'm gonna go into the other side.
Again, back and forth, windshield motions. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this brush right now because like I said, I do have limited space and this is just really working well for me. Usually I, I struggle with brushes that are too big or sometimes too small become scratchy. And this is very soft and this is very nice. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the angled blending brush into Lazy Baby, okay? Oh, this is an interesting color. And I'm gonna use this on the outside and um, create a little bit of uh, darkness here. And as you notice, I'm not going back and forth or I'm not going this way because I need to try to keep within this part of my eyes um, because what happens is if I come out, it, it, I would get it all over the place. <laughs> so I start here and using the angle, the advantage of the angle brush and I work it in this way. And notice that I don't go beyond the center, center line. Seems like there might be a little bit of fallout right here, but I'll clean that up. And now remember, take the brush at an angle like this and start rubbing inward. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a tapered blending brush. Um, I would use a different type of brush normally um, if I was using other kind of brushes, but since I'm using what I have, this is what I'm using. And we're gonna go ahead and I believe this is called Fresh Face, no, French Doors. Okay, here it is, French Doors. I'm gonna tap in here a little bit. And another thing too, um, you know, you remember I was saying that I'm gonna try not to tap off and see what happens. It really doesn't work very well with dark colors because then you have fallout, yeah? So we're just gonna go ahead and tap it off. And then we're gonna go in to the front end of this to brighten up the eyes. Oh, this is very nice. See how bright that's starting to pick up. Oh, very nice. It's a very nice uh, transition uh, from a dark, from dark light to dark. You know, I think that these type of colors work better with the fingers. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's very bright. See the difference? Yeah. Okay. Oh, definitely different, right? Okay, let's see if I can blend all this together because I do have some harsh edges. And so I'm gonna go back in here with the this piece here. Uh, real quick, um, not not too much. Woo, does a lot of blow off there. And then just go ahead and blend out these rough edges. Just going around. Okay, I think that's blended out okay. So I'm gonna go back in with the messy hair. And since lack of uh, brushes here, <laughs> it's gonna be tricky, is go ahead and Go under. And to meet your darker color. And then what you can do at this point is go back in with the Missy a hair one and then since you stretched it up just make sure that you have a little bit here just kind of blend in just very lightly to give it that extra dimension and let me just go ahead and finish off my eyes by uh, putting an eyeliner and also mascara and then I'll be right back to finish okay okay 
here I am. I gone ahead and did my eyeliner with, um, of course, my Marc Jacobs. And um, also my eyelashes are Bobbi Brown, as usual. And uh, these are my go-to, um, you know, staples that I use in everyday uh, basis. And this time, as far as my cheeks, though, I did go ahead with the uh, Clinique. Um, I went with this color here and the highlighter here. Okay. And I think that's all I did off camera. So I think the last thing I need to do, actually, that I have left um, is the lip liner and the butter, lip butter. And so um, what I will do, though, I will go ahead and wipe uh, my lip clean. And I usually, that's another thing I forgot to mention, that I do um, put this on. Um, this is a balm. And I put it on before I put on makeup, usually right after the foundation, and I put it on. And that way, what happens is that uh, as I'm putting on other makeup, uh, when it adheres um, to my lips, it comes off a lot easier, like, like so. I think I've shown this in other videos, you see? So that way, it carves out my lips. So... Let's try the pencil. Again, this uh, pencil is by Ace Butte, and this color is Be Peachy. And the reason why I chose this one instead of the brighter one is because I wanted to match somewhat uh, the lip butter, okay? And so um, I'm gonna go in and use this. I'm hoping it's not that dark, but let's see. not bad it's actually a very nice color and I gone ahead and just colored the rest of it in very nice and neutral uh, very dark peach but very nice it's very creamy as well and I think I talked about um, how I love creamy uh, lip liner because I do color the rest in. otherwise it's like and you know my lips will be bleeding and all some of the uh, the lip pencils it's really difficult to put on I don't see how that sells but it, it must because they're still on the market but anyway that's that okay next I'm gonna go in with the Sol Janeiro keep it Rio so here we go this is almost like a chapstick you know very very buttery very nice what do you think so this completes the look. So let's really recap really quick, okay? Uh, I did go ahead and use the brushes by Luxie and I have to clean them. <laughs> and they were actually, as far as my feedback, very nice, very soft. It actually targeted the areas that I was going after. Um, I will need more than these five pieces though, because I do use um, other types of brush. Um, I will need a, a smaller shader brush and I'll need a couple of them because I like to really work with colors, even though technically I could probably wipe this off and reuse it. Um, I like to use a different colors for a different brush um, with my look so I don't muddy things up. But as far as the quality of the brush, I think it's great. And uh, the aesthetics, you know me in aesthetics. Hmm. You know, rose gold, my favorite. And also purple, one of my two favorite colors. So this is a win-win. Very good, very good brush. Okay. And uh, next is the Breakfast in Bed uh, by Beauty Bakery. The palette. I was very surprised uh, by the quality of this, actually. I'll be honest with you. Um... You know, I'm used to certain brands and certain types of palettes that I keep going back to. And I've never really worked with Beauty Bakery. And um, I was kind of hesitant. But, I mean, look at that look. It's beautiful. I mean, it, the uh, colors were creamy, very minimal fallout. And the only reason why it fell out just a little bit is because I didn't, you know, uh, wipe off the brush or uh, blow off the brush. Um, but other than that, I mean, there's very minimal kick up in a pan. Actually, I'm going to say no. Um, and this is actually a very good palette and also a very 
a beginner friendly palette to wear around. It's very forgiving. It's not like um, some of the other, uh, like uh, the, uh, which one is very unforgiving. Uh, well, Urban Decay, first of all, um, some of their stuff is very unforgiving. And uh, Pat McGrath, I mean, her stuff could be pretty unforgiving. With this is like, I mean, it, it'll give you just as a beautiful look, uh, but it's very forgiving. So I really like this palette. And then the next piece is the uh, the lip pencil. As you can see, it's very creamy, beautiful. I mean, this is something that I would buy again uh, with my own money. And these are the things that, um, when I say it's very good, like the Luxie brush, the eyeshadow palette, and now this pencil, I definitely would spend my own money to buy these things. And they're very good quality. As far as the lip butter, um, it's very nice, but nothing special. Um, you know, for the price, $20, I guess it's okay, but um, I don't typically go for this um, type of um, stuff, but it's the quality-wise, it's very good. Uh, would it be something that I'd go back and spend my money on? Probably not, I'm going to say. Um, I do have uh, my favorite, um, this type of um, a lip butter by uh, Charlotte Tilbury and also by Givenchy. Um, and so I'm used to those um, pieces and um, they're also very clear and it, they don't have this tint and uh, maybe it's, it smells really good, but it smells like this could go south very quickly by the smell of it. Yeah. So yeah, that's my thought on that, but it's still good. And then the next one is the dose of color. Actually, I was looking at my under eye as I'm working. Uh, around my eyes and I was thinking wow this is actually very good because by the time that I start putting on my eyeshadow I do start to see a little bit of settling um, because I'm using like a 10 times magnification and so uh, you can see anything there's I mean 10 times magnification is not your friend <laughs> believe me and so but um, I'm not seeing those little micro fractures um and with this and which is a good thing but let me see uh let me you know try for about a week let me see how it ends up by the end of the night and uh, how that comes out so i think that's it that's all of the things that i used today and all of the things that came out of my october base box from boxycharm and so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got any information that you wanted and um, if I added any value, please hit like. And if you don't subscribe yet, hello, what are you waiting for? So we do box openings, we do try-ons, and we do all kinds of fun stuff. And believe me, myself and my beautiful wildflowers would love to have you along with us. And so as I always say, don't sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.